guys, I'm the Fact Freak, and today we are doing a deep dive into possibly the worst medium on TikTok. Now, we've got to wonder, first of all, what are mediums? Now, we all know that mediums have a long and captivated individuals seeking contact with the supernatural realm. These individuals claim to process the ability to communicate with spirits and provide insights into the unknown. Now, mediums rely on various techniques to create the illusion of processing those psychic powers. Cold reading is one such method commonly employed. They make generalised statements or ask leading questions. Mediums are able to extract personal information from their clients, making them believe in their supposed ability to communicate with the spirits. Furthermore, hot reading, where mediums gather information about clients prior to the session, and it allows them to appear knowledgeable and accurate during their readings. Mediums sometimes prey on vulnerable individuals who are seeking closure or guidance. They employ emotional manipulation techniques to establish a strong connection with their clients by tapping into people's emotions and providing comfort in their messages. Often grief-stricken people are particularly susceptible to the deceitful practices of some mediums in their quest for solace and connection with the deceased loved ones individuals may seek the help of these mediums now while some mediums may genuinely believe in their abilities there are some that exploit the vulnerability of individuals seeking solace and closure or a connection with the supernatural. And I suppose after today's video, you should be able to work out whether James Bucknell is one of those. Now in this deep dive, I intend to cover Bucknell as thoroughly as I can by discussing his experience and background, his overall attitude and experience when it comes to connecting with him. And we're going to end it with a live stream reaction. I will warn you guys, this is going to be a long video because when I started, I thought we could just do a live reaction. Um, probably there's not that much to, to see when it comes to James Bucknell or to talk about when it comes to James Bucknell. Man, I was wrong. I was wrong. Covering just the first two points, that experience and background and attitude, well, that's going to take a while to start off with. And now the boring bit. As you know, guys, sharing, liking and commenting really does help push out videos and help with awareness. So, yeah, please help me. So, over on LinkedIn, Bucknell is, well, linked. Now, it says his name is James Bucknell. He's registered himself on here as a spirit medium. Um, now... Interestingly, when it comes to experience, he's decided to list himself that he has been a medium since July 2022. Um, one year and one month, apparently. Uh, even though he says he was sent by God and is an angel, uh, and that is why he's doing it. But he says that he has a master's degree from the University of Bradford, and a Bachelor of Arts. So he studied uh, Middle, Near Eastern and Semitic Languages, Literatures and Linguistics. Very interesting. Now he has an old Facebook account which we found. Now one thing about this is this actually makes what he said about being a medium in 2021 completely obsolete. If you look at the dates above me here, you will notice that he's been posting these god-awful adverts to be the Facebook medium since 2020. And that image right there is from Google, by the way. Um, but yeah, he's been doing it way into 2020. But 
as I'm about to show you right here, if you notice this post here, he says that he has now closed the page. He is done trying to get through thousands and thousands of fake mediums. And that was in May 2021. So there's a status here where it says, um, I've changed my password and made sure I couldn't remember it. So I can't log back in. The abuse I get from the take mediums is too much. I've tried for three years to get through and the general public, so that's three years and this status was in 2021. Um, so it looks like he obviously failed miserably when he tried to do this years and years ago on Facebook and then has reinvented himself and said that he's only been doing it since 2022. Now let's move on to the attitude part. Now, I watched James's live and you're going to see that reaction to finish off this video. Um, and I couldn't believe what an angry little man we were dealing with. Um, clearly some deep-seated, resentful issues just with the world in general. Uh, now this clip shows just, well yeah, just, just exactly that. Let's get into it. <laughs> I'm good. What, why? What out of all the filters in the world? Where for that? I don't like Satan. I don't like devil. I don't like nothing to do with evilness. So, I mean, we all know what sort of point she's making here. Obviously, she doesn't like the fact that he's wearing that filter with the devil eyes sort of thing on. Which you know, it's fair enough. It's a fair enough sort of comment somebody might make. But how does he react? Why are you have to come on my live with your eyes Well, your face is as ugly as it gets, darling. You're an ugly-looking bastard, let's face it. So why are you talking about my... Straight body shaming and being horrible. Straight for the nastiness. Straight away. Nice. You're ugly-looking. You're one ugly-looking thing. This guy was sent down by God, apparently. You're ugly-looking thing. Ugly-looking... There we have it. The angel sent from God. Mama, you ugly woman, ugly. Is it because I'm white? Is it because I'm white you're having a heart attack? And then why bring that up? Like, I'm sorry, was that part of God's mon manifest for you? Like what? And here's just a clip about him telling everybody how he punched his dog once. I mean, what? Nobody else. But, um, I punched him once in his head. And that's the only thing I feel guilty for. Most people think, well, I don't feel guilty about that, but I do. That's the worst thing I've ever done. Um, because he ran through London. I, I, I took him for a walk on the thing. And he ran off the thing, back out the gates. And not ran, but he's toddling off. Anyway, I chased him that long. Um, and I was scared because he kept running in front of the cars. The cars were screeching. And oh my God. So you were a bad dog owner. You didn't have it on a lead properly. You weren't looking after the animal correctly. But yet you're telling this story like, oh, what a fucking terrible dog. What a bastard dog. He was doing this. He created this. It's a dog. You are its owner. I got him home and I just punched him right in the head like that. Not... It's definitely not right to hit a dog or anything in a form of discipline as far as I'm concerned. But if you were even going to entertain that argument, you're not even saying that you punished the dog with violence at the moment that it was resolved. You're saying you took the dog home and beat it. That's what you're saying. You took the dog home and beat it. What in the actual... It's not like I would punch a man, but just one dig and he just went to run to the window... Had the window been open, it would have jumped out the window, and I thought, oh my god, how scared was it? But I, I had to go get, and I do not drink. I felt that the guilt was that bad. And I do not drink. I do not drink. I do not drink. I'll only drink if I'm going to a nightclub. I hope to God he doesn't have any animals in his possession. I really, really hope he doesn't. Now that is a little look into James Bucknell and when you're choosing to pay somebody for a service whether it's somebody's home business or whether they are an angel sent by God and work as a medium 
you really have to decide whether it's a kind of person you want to hand over your cash to. Anyway, the following clip, it's a big clip, but it's a clip of how James Bucknell composes himself online and the kind of attitude and comments that you may receive or see during your private reading. So it's up to you guys to decide and tell me in the comments. Do you think he's the worst medium on TikTok? Peace. But all I know is this. They'll never have a reading like of, of me unless they pay me a hundred pounds. And I do not... Them people think they used to... I, I don't know how many... He's ranting. Some of his fucking readings are insane. We have devil. We have the devil like we have the good. But sometimes I just think some people collect the bastards. And I don't care what where those people go. Somebody says in his comment section, you're tarring everyone with the same brush, which is completely true. But if you look at his page, if you look at his page, right, he's got over 300,000 followers, but his videos have, what, top video has 14,000 views. Second highest after that is 6,000 views. And some of these... Um, some of these things now I watched which one did I watch I watched a few of them this one for example right now when I start this now what you need to know before you start with stuff like this is you need to know what a leading question is so a leading question is it was somebody you knew wasn't it because you're you're getting that response where somebody's going to say Oh, yes, it was, and they're going to give you a little bit more information. So if you listen to this, he asks a leading question, and it goes off the, um, basically the information that he's given by the her. It's not a, like, it's not some divine intervention. Hey, Raven. Flash of a boy before, I don't know where he is yet, but do you have any son? Do you have any son? Do you have any son? So you're asking the question. Now, if she had said, no, I don't have a son, you could say, oh, it must be another male relative or somebody who's close to you. Like, it's a very easy thing to switch out. But of course, yeah. she says, yeah. yes. And then he even asks, living? And she's like, yes. So she's given him all of the information, literally all of the information. This is just like asking anybody a question. It's just like asking anybody a question and he considers this a psychic reading. This is bizarre. Does anybody else think that anything there was psychic intuition? He said, do you have a son? Yes. Oh, are they alive? Yes. I knew it. What? Not happy. Oh, you do. That's right. Yeah. Oh, you do, that's right. So, yeah, I knew that. I knew that. Why am I asking you? Silly me. Silly me. I feel as though, was he a grown boy or a young adult? Yeah. Was he a grown boy or a young adult? I think he wants to apologise for what he did. Another vague comment. Another vague comment. Who hasn't got something that they want to apologise for? Who hasn't got something in that, like... It's not, this isn't psychic intuition. This is just very obvious statement points. Do you know what I mean? Like, no wonder he's 3,000 odd follow 300,000 followers and he's got five likes on this video. That's the way he's showing me what he did. And he's also telling me to be shh like this thing. Flash of a. Absolutely fucking terrible. Like, not good. He refused to give me a reading anyway, so, like I say. It's a bit of a joke, and he's a very angry man because he gets told he's a joke quite regularly. Let's see what's happening here. You know, you know mediums, but not one of you can bring me a fucking medium that can beat my videos. Do you know what I mean? I keep saying... We've just watched your videos, pal. They were shit. So I'm going to make sure people will not take the piss out of me. No, they won't. They're not coming on my screen getting free readings. So Stacey can go somewhere else. So... I think he's having a go at that lady. Well, this is it. Raven proper mediums. That's the way they operate. For me, I want it cheap. <clears throat> it was pin 100 quid to get a rain off him. 
They're all trying to get what they can and say what they can. <sighs> if unavailable, has he been banned? Did he get banned? To get it. Oh, people oh, sure. all the lives. No qualms with these readers because I need to let these readers get on with it. He does love the sound of his own voice. He's such a negative person, isn't he? Like he's got 300,000 people following him. He's only got about 60-odd people watching him. And he's just negative, negative, negative. Poo me, poo me, poo me. You know what? You come on here, you do your best, and they all treat you like shit. <laughs> you are the most accurate, James. We all know that you're the best on TikTok. And we know these other readers don't even show fuck all. And yeah, they, they still treat you like... He's just talking to himself in the third person. That's, people must watch me and feel sorry for me deep down and think it's not fair, really. We can all see point blank, you know, what's going on. 250 for a group reading, Tom. I was murdered. It's not worth it, losing a child for somebody, is there? I mean, losing... I've got aunties that have lost husbands. And they don't seem to care. They're just... Well, they're older, aren't they? They act like they don't care, you know, to show the kids they don't really care. Oh, it's all right. I'm all right. I'm coping. Oh, thank you. Well, that's the difference, Coral, isn't it? An actual content... Uh, con connection, sorry. I think there's a few people feeling sorry for me now. How, how, how a reader that didn't even show mediumship just got $100 in a battle against the medium that... Yeah, me too, Sarah. ...medium that's been reading for free for two years. Well, six years. But two years I've done free readings, and that's what I got. The reader that shows no mediumship got $1,100. Bastards, aren't they? I told you people are bastards on here. Oh, thank you, Brooklyn. Not everybody, but you know what I mean. They don't have to show up. Thank you for Thank the follow. Thank you, Brooklyn. Beautiful. So, Brooklyn, is Brooklyn going to be happy in, in, in the latest love life or the one to come? Let's have a look. I hope it says yes and not no. Oh, my God. He spins a coin. This is his level of fucking fortune telling. He flips a coin. He flips a virtual coin. I, I tell you what, I'm going to do some of this myself, right? I'll do some of this. Not a problem. Right, okay, this is easy, right? Anybody in my chat ask a question? Anybody? Anybody ask a question about their future, please? I'm going to do a free reading for you guys. A free reading. Uh, it's going to be very difficult, right? Okay, Raven wants to know if she is a woman. Uh, heads for a woman, tails for uh, something else. So, flip a coin. We've got tails, we've got tails, there we go, free reading. <laughs> I got a free reading, fucking done, Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. How embarrassing. Right, thank you very much, my darling. See How embarrassing was that? It was embarrassing, wasn't it? It was absolutely embarrassing. Will I win the lottery? He would not be the one to ask. Let's take it into the kitchen. What I need to do is get some blue tack because I'm covering the camera. People in the comment section on his live. Foolish people, here's the real deal. You're damn right, he flips coins, you know, guys. Did you, Coral? But now I can press the thingy to get it recorded now i press the center exactly button. lady now i'm seeing the thing so let's just see can everyone from my chat go over to him and tell him you've been you had the sudden urge to take over you to come and see him and say hello like something just took over you like divine intuition uh, yeah are you the gentleman that's got a daughter that had, was having a child what? Um, <laughs> the gentleman? Something about you. your mum called Lisa you said last time. It just comes to my mind when I see you. Tap the screen. Are you the gentleman with the daughter? Tap the screen. Thank you, Paul. Straight in there, my gadget. Oh, that's it, my gadget. Oh, we've got the, we've got the, 
the uh, boxing glove, everyone. You hit the they go through the boxing glove. You press the boxing glove, and it, it presses another button within it. He's using the. Um, that's his yeah, using him. Just type in James Bucknell. Lisa You'll find well. him. That's why I'm saying Lisa? Lisa TikTok. It's called. Um, she she said to me. Go through your account and go to Asian huh? Centre and get the code from within your account and give me a code. She is very confused. I felt the need to stop scrolling and come into your life. <laughs> Brilliant. Honestly, we are too good at this. Counts. It's fun. So we, we, I've, I've spoken to TikTok and we can't do it at the moment. So I said, I'll piss off. You want to ask TikTok why you've got such shit views, even though you've got 300,000 followers? You silly little thing. I know. I just spoke the TikTok. You've got other accounts. What will stop? We're just having a look at this guy who's a, a medium. Flix. Fucking TikTok. Damn, this live just connected to me. Someone told me to come to you from the spirit world. <laughs> Anne Williams, Amy, Jessica Del Rey. I bet he buys it all. A yes, no question. Fire away. If anyone wants to pay this guy to flip a coin, head over there. Don't you? This is just bizarre. Um, you're, the, you're the person that I'm on about. Yeah, it's your picture. Bennett, that's it. Jean Bennett. Yeah. I felt compelled to come to your live. There is a reason I've had to come to you. A, do you have a lady that has passed? Question, <laughs> yes or no? For me. Um, other person. Well, she's, she's not really bothered about talking to me. She's not even English. Uh, is there a reason I have to come to you? Well, yes, your spirits would have brought you over here. Are your spirit guides to a real medium? Um, I do record mediumship. I have a load. <laughs> the spirit guide didn't bring them over here. Pal, I sent them. <laughs> Am I the fucking... Maybe I'm the fucking spirit guide. Am I the spirit guide? Um, yeah. But I've got loads on YouTube. I'll tell you what I've got. You can also go to Instagram. I do... Um, <laughs> He's got all of the same clips he has on here on YouTube. Me personally, there's some videos where everything's correct. But there's no name. Whereas in the beginning, Nikki said that the 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 spirit world had sent everybody over. Definitely wasn't me. Anyone got a yes or no question? Yes, yeah, you. Yeah. Um, hi, Sarah Lou. In the beginning, when I did a reading, um, generally you get names anyway. But if I got no, your name just came to me while scrolling, and I'm drawn to you. I'll put it up for the information. As long as you can show, for example, you can show you do psychic reading. You, you might give a name and say it's, that name is for the future, or the name of the partner in the in the living, which I've got videos oh, no, like that. I'm talking about the partner, not wrong. The spirit facts sent us. <laughs> um, a medium. As long as you show varied stuff, so your portfolio is basically your CV. It just shows what you're able to pull through, and how experienced you are, etc. We'll have all the fact spirits. Um, let's have a look at the list. Not James. No, it is me. <laughs> this this account's got three hundred thousand followers, Jean. This is me at longest. Three hundred thousand followers. Flash well, I love. Well, I hope so. About five likes on the videos. Oh, never mind. I don't think that's a voice changer. I think that's his real voice. First, I don't think it's because I don't love you. Sometimes the person you might get married. Raven, your comments were hilarious. I am. I'll be somebody that meets somebody and 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 I'll think, oh my god, tonight I've just met the love of my life, and I'll wake up in the morning and be dead. I'll be like, oh, only that happen to me. All right, fucking hell. That took a bit of a morbid turn. Oh, we've got a yes or no question. The flipping a coin. No, will Emma he? Stop being manipulative and sarcastic all the time to people. So we're trolling it, will she? There's something wrong with her? Hold on. Is there something wrong with Emma Heath? No! <laughs> uh, so let's see, is there something wrong with her? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever that person is that he was acute and they flipped it again and got a no. <laughs> Bless him. Um, because most children just abuse the parents. Some children end up robbing the parents mm. all the time. Um, and I, I, honestly, darling, the older you get, the more you see. I, I had a... <laughs> he f fucking flipped the coin about his troll and got a wound. <laughs> I just lost. Disgusting. 
Oh, I needed this tonight. Something, something to laugh at. Jesus. Oh, where's it gone now? Where's it gone now? Well, some people are just waiting for the parents to die so they can have out money. And some, I know, I knew this girl at university. Her mum got squashed under a car. Ask him what he studied in university. This one's car park, and she had a younger brother. And she said, you know, she, they, they got £75,000 compensation because of what they did. It wasn't something they could put the man in prison for. Because he had a sneezing fit or something. But anyway... Um, the man had a sneezing fit and had killed somebody? What? I wonder if she's glad that her mother died. Because some people were like, well, you know, I, I want my, my mother getting dragged under, under a car for 75 fucking grand. But um, that's how people are, so personally... Delusional studies. Because most of them just want you to die. And spend, and most of us... He really hates the world, doesn't he? Us. So your father could have worked all his life. You get his house, and you're their only child, and your boyfriend, for example, spends all money on drugs. It's a killer for some people, so yeah. What's he flipping he a coin for? I keep having dreams that someone is with me and who is at night is dreams. Probably just dreams. Um, but if you pay a hundred... Got hit by his spirit level. It's, I, th I don't know if it's a wind-up. I think he believes he's on bullshit. She's fl he's just flipping coins and calling it a reading. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know out of the two answers that it could have been, this was one of them. They say the angels die young. And he's older than this, you might be right. Mm. Yeah, I love you too, Emma. I'm learning to smile at the bitches. So I love you too, darling. I'm trying to forget what you've been saying to me the past six months. Are you actually saying having kids, she will be better off? I'd say if you could listen, if you've not made one, you're not going to miss one. Once you've made it, give birth to it, you're fucked. Because there'll, there'll be time. You're fucked. When your child starts saying, fuck off your slag, die your slag. What? Some people have children that actually beat the mother up. There are children out there that beat... What is wrong with this guy? What is going on in his head? He wanted me to pay £100 for a ring, Jesus Christ. I'm surprised he didn't take up the offer. Sometimes... You just have the child and you think, you know what, I can't go on holiday with my friends. I just can't go live abroad because of this. Somebody asked him to flip the coin to whether their child will beat them up in the future. Yeah, I just, it's not, my life's not the same. I used to sleep in, get up and watch telly and having breakfast and, and, and do what I liked. Now I've got to get up to a bastard crying child that all it does is bastard moan. So some people find it quite disturbing. Often... I think your views are quite disturbing. Got a good mum. It usually happens with the women, but there's plenty of grandmas looking after the sons' kids as well. Um, sometimes, if you've got one of those mums, you could just fling it to your mother. Fling it to your mother. But your mo some mothers are very. They want to take over the grandchild, and they've got nothing to do. They're like 70, 60 year old. They're happy to have the baby all night long at home and just, you know, have it on the knee. Love it. Like a little <laughs> bit. That's amazing. Sounds like Evil Queen on fast forward. The grandkids. It does. You could give my mother a baby 24-7. She just she won't even give you it back. So I'm just saying, so my sister could easily say to my mum, I'm my brother's girlfriend, just have them for two weeks, Lynn. If you want them, it's fine. Somebody has asked, will my child beat me in the future? I love it. I can't believe I just said what. Most people, my cousin said to me, if I could turn back time, I would never have had children. Thank you for the follow. Um, because of the worry. You constantly, you, you, apparently your children would be your, your first priority in worry. Everything is about your children. He's given his opinion on children now, Sarah. It's, this is really taking a turn. If you tell anybody, any mother or father, um, that's a, lost a child, it's enough to put them off having another child. That some people won't even relate to the grandchildren because of it. Because they're scared to lose another one. Lost a parent or child. Um, they would wish they never had the It's uh, James it. Bucknell, the best it's psychic on TikTok. And love and lose. I say it very sarc um, sarcastically. Yeah. So 
anybody want a thing? It's very, oh, fuck, set me up. I'm not sure this is my bag. No, it is Nikki, but I'm not a reader. Um, I don't do what you want to know about. What you saying? What you for real? What do you mean? What you for real? I'm saying what for real? If you want children, then have them. But I'm just saying, most people say, right, most mothers and fathers do not want to die and leave the children. It's a very s sad situation. <laughs> what the hell's he talking about? He never said anything like that. He said children were shit, basically. Um, I don't know. I think so, doggy mama. So why... So if people, like they say, if you have your children already, then obviously you've got your children. But most mothers have said, if they could turn back time, they wouldn't have children. Now, first of all, let... Who the fuck says that? Maybe his mother. That's the problem. That's some deep-seated um, trauma there. ...experienced having children, and they say to their own children... Yeah, he did. He said he, you, <laughs> children would run over their own mother for 75 grand. I mean... Certain people's mums, maybe, but Jesus, not in the regular. Oh, for fuck's sake. 18, 19, 20. How many parents would say to their daughters, especially the daughters, try and have a baby. If you want a baby, try and do it a little bit older. Wait till you're 30. Late 20s, early 30s. Don't have a child at 19 if you can help it. Otherwise, our kid's going to run you over. So I'm right what I'm saying. Most people would say to their children, you don't need to have a child at 19. Is this narcissist <laughs> behaviour? Like, he said something so fucking stupid, but because it's his opinion, he's that's the hill he's going to die on. I'm saying facts. Somebody say facts. I don't speak about my shows on here. No facts. You want facts? You're in the wrong place yeah, if you're over there. You're a girl, Emma. You're very trolly, though. I can't believe how much you troll me. But you're attractive, usually attractive-looking people, aren't that, that bitchy? Um, A or L, what does that mean? No, I'm not. I want my parents to pass. What are you talking about? Come under people's bloody looks now. Why would your child say? What are you talking about? I'm talking about having children. Most people would say if they could turn back the time, they wouldn't have done it because it's it's a massive responsibility. I think his parents have said that a lot to him. In the first place, you don't have nothing to worry about. And then when he's called them on it, they've been like, tap. Everybody's parents says it, James. Everybody's parents said they wish they'd never have you. Do you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> fucking hell. You worry for the child's happiness, don't you? So I like just looking after myself. Well, of course you do, obviously. You know, me and Paul used to call straight people breeders. Straight people do have a, a responsibility here to breed and reproduce. You heard him. My DMs are open. Do you have <laughs> like that? Ha, what yes. What are you talking about? Maybe mediumship. <laughs> he's, not a, a he's not a mediumship, guys, but he'll fucking for a hundred quid. <laughs> If somebody has children and says, you know, child, having children is very difficult. It's very, you, you worry about your children all the time. You go to work for your children. You worry about everything. You give them money to help. What them. is this? You've got some children that are on, God you know, knows. break your heart. Some people have children on heroin. Some people have children taking heroin every day and they break the heart. Some people suck. This is, uh, I'm having to pause him now and again in case I get mind bloody banana this is James Bucknell, who will give you a private reading for £100, or you can book um, two separately for 50 quid each. Oh, he's got a link tree. Um, absolute. Not I have job. problems with the children. Some people do, the heartbroken. Some people have children that go to prison, and the mother has to go to sleep on the night time. The child's in prison. So if you didn't make the responsibility, I'm just saying some people that have experienced it would say, if I could turn back time, I would never have given myself that experience. But you can't really do, can you, in the life itself? Somebody asked him if he was a parent, but he didn't answer. So insensitive. What is that? I'll go away. It's not insensitive. It's sensitive to say it. Because most mothers would say to a young girl, let's say, if a 16, if your daughter comes in at 16 and says, I've just met my boyfriend. Somebody asked, were you an unloved child, James? You seem very bitter. Right now. He is a very Trust bitter me, man. Darling, 
Just leave that responsibility for a bit later on if you want. What's this? We have a psychic. He said I was helping him by making a video about him, so just thought we'd do this. Why not? Tell you, we're in England now. We live in a different culture. It's not a religious place. It's the kind of place, if you've not done it from the back as a woman, there's something wrong with you by 16. That's how bad it is. You know where I'm coming from? What? what I'm trying to say to you, I'm telling you. Never mind if they're looking for untouched. They're looking for the... If they've not done it from the back at 16, it's, it's considered abnormal now. It's England has lost it. But what anyway, the actual um, shit? There's nothing wrong with saying... You, you say it's nothing wrong with saying the truth about life. You know, as children, we think life is a fairy tale, and it's not. I tell you the only fairy tale that I bring here. The fairy tale of a real <laughs> medium communicating with the spirit world. That is a fairy tale. That's a daydream. That is a fairy tale. Yes. That's what life should be and should feel like. It's a fucking bullshit. So when I, we all have dreams about the knights and, and, and the wives and, and the gorgeous princess and all that. The perfect children. But life ain't like that. God, he's so it can bitter. Be, it's done right, but generally it's not all going to flow throughout like that. And some people have bad situations. So you're going you're to have to tell your child the truth, unless you're weird. So it's, it's okay to tell your weird. child. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you could be given that sort of opinion out. He's got to be on something, Raven. It's got to be, I don't know, God knows. And then you'll be, and then you'll be walking around with another one as well after that, because he'll... He'll make out he wants to come back to you when really, and also a child, it's highly likely that you're gonna, you know, you're not gonna be able to go to college. Why is this guy fucking so hateful? Oh, they're likely gonna say you're not gonna go to, you're not gonna be able to, it's gonna be difficult just to. I don't know, Vicky, I think he's part of the LGBT community based on a comment he made about straight people, but I don't know. There's not much money there as well. You're gonna have to go to the job centre, you're gonna have to um, have a. a a crisis loan to get a buggy, or we can look for a free one online. So everything's so expensive, um, and you're gonna. It does, Katie. Evil Queen on fast forward. <laughs> Your baby's getting wet. You've got no rain cover, and the, and the bastard drives past you in a, in a hundred grand car with some blonde bitch in the side, and it gives you a beep, beep beep, and they're going to, to Marbella for the weekend. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what? Any parents gonna say? <laughs> what? What fucking world is this guy living in? Oh, here we go. He's got a guest. Image. If you like. Tap, tap the screen. I'll put you on mute. What time is it? Let's go, guys. Uh, Start the screen. It's first battle after the start for house. He is such a it's treat. It's 8 o'clock at night time, but I'll just put it on mute. So. He just muted him. Is that a nipple there? Is he showing us his nipple? <laughs> Oh no. I've not touched a nipple like that for a long time. Oh, I could bite it. Anybody else want to bite it? Have you seen it? It's looking at me. That nipple is shouting. That nipple to me is saying this to me. It is. I'm I very. Nice and it's very I am very rarely speechless. What the actual shit? If you want, so this is why it's difficult. Have you seen that nipple there? Looking, doing something. Look at it, moving. I can't deal with this. Watch it. Um, two of them. Now, sometimes, right? I've got to say this. Sometimes, I don't know if some men <laughs> are trying to produce what you call false bosoms. Boob <laughs> job. What because fuck? sometimes, some men I mean, <laughs> literally I mean, their chest. Fucking all right, James. Jesus. <laughs> How dare you? How fucking dare you? How dare you? Um, oh god, I put them on full want screen. To grow like boobies? Boobies? Are you fucking 12? Was it like a straight man, for example. If he were to put a wig on, a red wig, right? A bit of lipstick. How many straight men would think he's got boobies? And they would just treat him like boobies? As long as they could see the bottom bit. Is that. Yeah, I suppose it is body shaming, really. All straight men. If they could just c cover up the bottom bit and use the back bit. The guy probably has them bloody muted. Some are just, just do out, as long as it looks like it's got a boob. Right, so let's see. Oh, go away. What's he flipping the coin for? 
If I could turn back time, I would 100% still want my to... Oh, we're not saying that. I'll go away, you know, if I'm not, I'm saying. He keeps flipping the coin, but I'm reading the question he's flipping the coin for. Love messages. I suppose it's just all about that twisted up thing. Um... I have no idea who he's flipping the coin for. How oh, would you say pepperoni? It's really strange. Are you saying that? Because I'm getting a pizza tonight. I mean, look at it. There's two of them there. Sure, that's too funny. Looking at it. They know what they're doing when they sat online like that. I mean, I don't give a shit. Fucking hell, I could get somebody... If you don't give a shit, why have you been talking about it since the moment you battled this young lad? About things like that. Oh, good God. I'm not just... Can I just remind you of... He's definitely been knocked back by a lot of people. We can... Sense our own. Games book no. All right. At 44 years old. I could go into a gay nightclub tonight. And believe me, there's going to be guys at, in their 20s, guys in their 30s, 40s, 50s and 60s. I'm going to get guys that look like him as well. Just believe me. The head's going to fucking spin. He's seen it in the cards, guys. Beautiful looking bastard. And I'm like, yeah, too right. And I'm used to it. Always been used to it. It's always been like that. It's just normal to me, but believe me, looking at his nipples don't really do that much for me. If I wanted some nipples to play with, I'd get I could get plenty of them. What the hell's going on? Well guys, if you're interested, you can get a reading from this guy for a hundred quid. Believe me. I could go out tonight and make the head spin like the fucking exorcist. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you, Emma. He's you so I mean? fucking I'm angry. Like looking guy, He's so angry. Me. Do it again. Whoa, whoa! He's not interested though, remember guys. Oh my god, it's moving. It's moving. Oh! <laughs> Ow! Stop it! Someone tell it to stop it! This is so fucking uncomfortable. I've done some reactions in the past, but this one is, yeah, this has been particularly difficult. Do it again, Vladimir! I've got two fucking monitors. There's no way I can look without this. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm not. I am a bit full of myself. I'm just saying. Trust me. At 44 years old, I could pull a 24-year-old that's got the body bigger than that twat. I mean, not twat. Sorry, I didn't mean to call him a twat. That gorgeousness there. I think I called him a twat. I don't know why. I'm. But yeah, trust me. They're staring at me. Nightclub and he was a giver. He'd want to give me it, no problem. Let me tell you. Naughty boy. You don't have to do a re rematch there. I don't know why. It's just fucking insane. Every time he does that, he loses the connection for a second. That's just too much. I'm toned. I wouldn't want big pecs like that at the front. I'm not really bothered about that, but no, I'm toned. But no, I'm just saying. Feeling like a third nice. wheel. You don't even have to be good looking. They'd, they'd, they'd go to bed without most of them. I'm sure you know that yourselves. Um, the scruffiest prostitute makes the most money. And the ugliest. How would they do? He won. They don't go near. But um, they, they're scared of them ones. But I'm just saying, you know, don't ever think I'm drooling over someone's nip nip there. Because trust me. This just joined. Can I explain? Fucking Jesus. Um, this guy is called James Bucknell. He is a medium. Uh, I mean, he's pretty shit from what I've seen. Um, and we're watching his live. And he's. Angels must look like angels and act he's... like angels. <laughs> My little angel. Do you know what I mean? So, anyway, guys. He used to run a brothel. Oh, I'm joking. It's looking blonde. Medium in clothes. <laughs> That's funny. I once went to a nightclub when I was younger. It's happened if you... Thank you for the gifts, by the way, guys. I can't say... It doesn't come up on the screen when I'm on the PC. I've just noticed you guys have sent me hits in the list. Thank you. They came out of the nightclubs. And to look through... The, everybody... The, the doors were all... Anyway... I wasn't aware of I that, Simone. I was club and the music actually went off. And everyone stopped. Every head turned. And I thought, well, what... what I can't breathe. I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now, but try and walk. We went to prison. <laughs> Interesting. Well, but looking back, what I didn't realise was 
When you see an angel, what's his name? James Book. Oh. And but without even knowing about it, your instincts just people just know that I'm an angel without even asking. It's weird. But if it looks like an angel and behaves like an angel, if it's got the face of an angel and look and behaves like one, it's a fucking angel. I mean, what the fuck could it else could it be? Simple as that. And then you prove to them you're working for God. Obviously, it's a fucking angel. Right, so <clears throat> you definitely are not. Oh, I am love. I am. But there's different kinds of angels. There's a fallen angel. I'm just depressed because what they've made me come down here. So I'm rebellious. Um, I know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm like, you can fuck off, Lord Almighty. You've sent me down here to these bastards. They've checked me like shit. Um, if you think I'm stopping smoking for these cunts, you can think again. <laughs> what the fuck is he even talking about? The names don't come through at I all. I didn't think it would be his care. real name. I don't care if they get the passing wrong. I don't care if I say uncle and it's the fucking father. These... Does anybody know what his name was when he went to prison? Somebody else if you can and bring me back up. That's why I get angry. But no, I'm definitely an angel. Can you say hi to my friend James, please? Hi, Debbie's friend watching. Thanks, so, James. Honestly, guys, I'm going to have to take a break. I've been on here. It's half past eight. I've got to go do a little bit of kitchen cleaning. I've got to jump while I might not have time to do cleaning. That's what I mean. He has a bit. What have you been doing all day? That's Flipping good. coins. Thanks for that, Debs. I appreciate the shout out. Do I have mental health problems? <laughs> when you turn up on live stream and you record mediumship like I've recorded it. And You've you say, got to have them. Darling, I, I communicate with the, with, with the heaven. I've got your father talking behind you, telling me he's called David. <gasps> say that again. Is your father dead? Yes. What's he called? David. <laughs> right, looks like 52 years. I've never seen one clip where he pulled that kind of information out of anywhere. Two. Two. That's a fucking angel. If you're trying to tell me that's a scat... So was his answer, I'm not mentally unwell, I'm an angel? Certainly ain't somebody who works in a laundrette. Do you know what I mean? I ain't no police officer. It's called a messenger. And another word for it is angel. But what you lot get mixed up with is the brothels. You've probably got brothels that are called angels, are us, and that kind of stuff. But no, that you people on earth, you take them names and use it with wrong people. Does he think I'm he's an not angel. on earth? When I'm an angel. God, you're a messenger. You, you are. Uh, it's like... Um, Hang on a minute. He thinks he works for God. Some people do tax rebates here. <coughs> they work for the government. Some people work for the Lord. We're called angels. But you lot, take it out of proportion. What? Now, as regards to doing rudies, I don't have rudies. I don't care about rudies. If you said to me tonight, you could, and I've always been like this, I don't know if it's because I've been so sexy throughout my time. <laughs> getting older. So I've had a plenty of, I don't really care what I'm, I don't care, I'm not what? really married, I don't care about it. If you know what, what I don't care about rudies. What? But, um, if you said to me, we, you can either choose between a really gorgeous stallion, you know, who's going to come round, give you a good time and all that. Well, it's not really a good time, is it, really? Depends. Leg can hurt and stuck, get your leg twisted round wrong. Your finger might get stuck somewhere. Something like that. So, and when it's bit on you and... It doesn't sound like an angel. No weird things. I mean, who spits on somebody in the middle of Rudy's? <laughs> He's been... The fucker's been spat on, any. <laughs> who the fuck spits in someone's mouth? <laughs> someone's <laughs> head butt it straight away and knock it off the bed. Do you know what I mean? You, you just take someone to bed and they start spitting it in your mouth. Like, what the fuck is that? And just have to headbutt it. But some people... What they, happened to him? Weird things. But anyway, I'm not looking for stuff like that. No, he's so, not. <laughs> he said to me, you can either have a stallion come round, give you a good time, and or you're hoping it would be a good time, or a big fat spliff and some chocolate cake and, and ice cream. Obviously, it's going to be the spliff and ice cream. Obviously. Rather than being spat on in the mouth. <laughs> I mean, what a, what a thing to choose between. So what's 
Daniel is saying, oh, Daniel is just one of those, those people. So I look at Daniela's picture. So let's read into Daniela's history. Well, no. Right, so the, the coins will tell us. Has Daniela met, had five relationships and they've all shagged the best friend? Hold on. Oh. Ha! <laughs> you trying to roast somebody again that backfired? Um, has Daniela... Is she upset with? Is she is she depressed because um, she's got some kind of fungus issue in her private areas? And he's trying to roast. He's trying to roast people with his coin, and it keeps failing on him. It's pretty sad. No. <laughs> quite clean. Has Daniela just become bitter? Hold on. You're an idiot, James Bucknell. Is she just miserable because there's something wrong with her brain, like mentally? Sit the guy who says he's an angel sent from heaven. No. Relationship just to the outsiders. This is too Here's funny. It's always good for that. Um, and <clears throat> yes, just pretend most of them. So <laughs> I failed so miserably. I, like me. I mean, like me, I just, I'm just getting a dog. So I'm looking for a little dog as well. I forgot to mention that. I'm looking for a little dog. <coughs> See, I'm not on Facebook. No, what I'm saying is, some people pretend on Facebook, don't they? Like put perfect pictures of. This, it is ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, I'm gonna put this full thing up on YouTube. I think. You could be in a relationship with somebody and, and everyone thinks you, but you're really happy with him and everything's gorgeous, right? And they think, oh, he's gorgeous. Oh, and she's gorgeous. And, I, oh, I, and the, the women be like, oh, imagine having it off with him. Oh, right? And they think, and they're looking at your photographs and all that on Facebook and they're thinking, you know, it's you to the, your friends that pretend to be your friends and maybe they're very jealous of you. But they're looking at you and thinking, oh, he's so gorgeous. Imagine what she feels like when she's having it off with him, right? What is going on in his head? This angel sent sent from heaven to work for God has a very strange way of looking at things. To help you out. Um, so most people are thinking that, right? But I'm a realist. So when you're a, so I could you're a realist, you think you're an angel. Oh. But have, have a good time with him, you know what I mean? Oh. But... You've got the fallen to angel. Because I'm one of these that thinks like this. It's more than likely there's going to be something that makes... To me, the, 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 the fantasy is always better than the reality, for example. It's more than likely... The, the couple you talk... I'm talking from the women's point of view, the straight life. I'm talking you women watching. You know, you're seeing this girl, you're jealous of her because she's a bit good looking than you. She's got new boobs done and all that. You're pissed off. Your boobs are... You've got boobs hanging down your belly, or you've got no boobs. You can't afford any neither. <coughs> What's with all the weird, like, body shame and shit on everything? Um, it works. Every, everyone must have issues because they hate the body, according to his fucking warped opinions. It's weird. All over her, right? So when it comes to the crunch, so what I'm coming to is this. But you've got to be realist because you're thinking, you don't understand, you're thinking the fantasy. You're thinking he's got he's got one of those things like a donkey. But if you were to find out he had he had nothing down there but a fucking screwball and a piece of skin, you won't give a shit. Is that what James has? Is that why he's upset? Over the person you're. Is this is, is this like weird incel behaviour? And when you realise it's got like a half an inch of a screwball. It might get to an inch and a half when it's excited, but it's not going to do a fuck for nobody. And this happens. There's people like that in relationships. <laughs> Could you imagine meeting the love of your life and it turns up to have a fucking screwball and all you can do with it is flick it and throw things at it, like golf balls and stuff, just to give it some kind of feeling. So God, he is what's wrong with the world, isn't he? I never think the next person's got it all going on because, like, you, like I just said, you might think they've got the perfect partner, but believe me, and it happened. Having the perfect partner isn't just about physical attributes or attractiveness. It's the whole fucking package, you tit. 
Well, I'm getting a bit rough around the edges as I get older. That's fine. I'm fucking rough. Yeah, it's okay. We are, we do that. But um, as long as the doctors integrate, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm quite blessed. <laughs> Daniel, oh my God, I'm sorry. You're going through that with your partner. Oh, what is that? It looks more like a vagina. What is it? I didn't even know it had out there till I touched it and it moved. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. So remember, guys, stop worrying about what they're doing next door because you could totally be hallucinating. The whole nobody, thing. nobody was fucking wondering what was going on next door. You brought this up. Let's have a look. No, no, darling. If you're sat there with your boyfriend and he's got a little pecker, just turn the volume down. Oh, Lord have mercy. But um, it's true, isn't it? It's true. And now the worst thing. Let me just say, will James Bucknell meet somebody that's got one like a banana? Oh. <laughs> now that's the worst thing. Really? The way it goes round is not it's just not workable. Do you know what I mean? A round thing. Thought it was overcharging, now the £100 seems reasonable. Do you know what I mean? You want it straight up there. You want it perfect. Yes, yeah, Coral. You want everything to be in proportion. Now, I won't be too bad about it, but it's some really misshaped fucking shit. But anyway, I'm sure some of you women look like cunts and all when it comes to crunch. So tap the screen, guys. It's not the size of it that matters. Well, delightful. We know. We he said he was ending his life. Thing with some of you women. To be fair, it's probably the most people he's ever had in his life, isn't it? One thing, Lord have mercy. <clears throat> I'll have to stitch that fucking thing up myself. <laughs> I think we're gonna we're gonna numb that down there with something. We're gonna get some numbing cream and we're gonna sew it up. I have no idea, Amanda. <laughs> and that thing that looks like a lion's tongue, we we're, we're, we're chopping that off. Anyway, it's called age, and it don't really matter because thank you for the follow. Get older, all you want to do really is um, most people in the older age now in England. I don't know about America. American people, or Australia, they generally want to put the slippers on, watch a bit of TV, a bit of food. What? In England, you've got sixty. You, well, you have. You've got sixty. You've got men at sixty year old. You've got women at sixty year old. They're not like the grandmas and granddads used to be. The, the the sixty year olds of today, the grandmas and granddads of today, um, like I said, they they, they used to just want to have a cup of tea. Now they snort cocaine, they're having <laughs> tattoos at sixty five on the head, forehead, um, and they do things like that these days. Yeah, is he they all right? With, with a, with is, a this is what the angel sent from God needs to let us know. And a slice of bread and butter. Now they have cocaine, so it's all different. So I'm going to love you all and leave you all. With that, those words of advice. My picture looks 50 something. No, not at all. Um, <coughs> that's disgusting, Emma. I've never touched something so disgusting like that in my life. And when I meet the perfect gay partner, he will appreciate me either for that. Let me tell you this, guys. No gay partner. Especially the, the, the dominant one. Let me tell you, I don't want to put the offer out, but my partner that I would go for would most certainly be very grateful for me not wanting to have, and never have done being uh, a disgusting woman thing. And um, it could kill what? my a partner would be totally put off. The, no partner of mine would want me to have touched anything like that. Um, a disgusting woman thing. That's and, lovely to say. And, and <clears throat> I couldn't do it for, for love nor money. I couldn't touch it. Them things what women have there. Nobody's fucking offering, pal. So, um, I'm going to love you all and leave you all. And um, let's um, have a break, guys. Thank you very much for joining. It's been exciting. It's been a bit porno like, but never mind, my darlings. Thank you very much, everyone. I've got 63 people watching. I'm going to say your names. Hold on. Get over there and get a Where's shout out. A cream pie? I don't understand what you mean by a cream pie. <laughs> you mean like a, a chocolate pie with cream in it or something? Like a mud pie. So 
Ashma, thank you for your gifting today. <laughs> Nikki, thank you for never gifting for some reason. Mini cat, Miss Mel, at Sandy spiritual gift. Andy, bubble oh, gum butterfly. Oh, broke me. Broke me at the end. Lech, Anna Louise, Michelle, Mad Max, 30 something. Thank you for popping by. Joe Taylor. Um, so Angela Carter, Carla. Paranormal antics, Anita, Angelica, Amanda Rose, Jessica Del Rey. I do love that name. Lola Willis, Emzy, Kai, Sarah Jemak and Lily. And to all you private people watching, have a good afternoon. And remember, if you're single and you do meet somebody with either a loose Lulu. Oh, God. What needs stitching? Or a one inch, a one inch, a one inch, you could be worse. Could be a lot worse. I mean, Jesus Christ. Um, <clears throat> well, that was a live by James Bucknell, uh, username on TikTok, exclusive to TikTok. Uh, he does private readings for £100, so after that you, you fancy going private with the uh, weirdly over-sexualised, woman-hating, uh, just general life-hating James Bucknell. Uh, you know where you can go, guys. You know where you can go. Um Bloody hell. Uh, right, I'm going to end this live, guys, and I'm going to come straight back on. Okay, so peace, guys, peace.